episode 49 we're going to be talking about is the importance of having a timetable because as a new entrepreneur coming into entrepreneurship it's very important to have something in front of you that's going to keep you organized that's going to keep you disciplined that's going to keep you going in the right direction and also it's going to help keep you motivated because if you see the things that you are achieving and accomplishing, especially when it comes to tasks of achieving your goals, small little wins here and there, this was going. This is going to empower you and it's going to help you stay motivated um, to making sure that whatever you're trying to do as an entrepreneur coming to fruition for you and you're very successful at building your business, your brand, whatever you're doing as an entrepreneur. So today episode, we're going to be talking about the importance of having a timetable, especially for my new entrepreneurs out there. But other than that, man, make sure y'all tap in to episode number 49. Yep. Invest Brand Pod Show. Tap in. Grand Rising to all my investors and self out there, man. Thank y'all for tapping in to another one of these Invest Brand Pie Show for this Monday. This is officially episode 49. We one more episode away for season three of the Invest Brand Pie Show, man. It's been going good so far. We have um, two seasons so far, um, finishing up on the second season, what have you. But this is a lot of content that y'all can go back from one through 50 and watch, you know what I'm saying? Get you some, um, anything you can take away from this, um, pie shows that we are having episodes and what have you. Um, this is be wonderful. You know, this is what we want, um, to be able to give back to new entrepreneurs to help each other out, man, build each other up and what have you. So this is a community of building and what have you, especially for my new entrepreneurs out here and what have you. But other than that, man, you know what today is, uh, uh, today topic um, that we're going to be talking about today is the importance of having a timetable. But before I get into the topic for today, you know what the time it is. If you are watching this playback of the Invest Brand Pie Show on our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell, and also hit on that like button, man, because we want to know we want to ag- we want the algorithm know that this is a real pie show. And also, if you are listening to this pie show on our Spotify. Um, channel, make sure you hit that follow button so you be notified when a new episode drop. Um, and if you haven't already made your way over to the investbrand.com um, um, to our landing page where you can sign up and be on our emailing list because it's very important, guys, so you can get a notification on what anything that goes on the invest brand. We also um, in these coming days and what have you, we got the invest brand um, investors of self shirts. That's going to be coming. So once you go to the landing page, um, that's going to be there for you can to that you can buy because once you sign up, you will get additionally 10 to 15 percent off of the invest uh, investor of self shirt and what have you. So that is coming soon. So you can sign up on the email list and what have you. So it's very important, man, because invest brand is all about man investing and motivating you, keeping you in power to be able to execute on becoming a. Uh, on the best entrepreneur as possible And this is what it's all about man Because we understand that you are your own brand And we are here to help you Tap into your greatness And that's what it's all about guys But other than that man I'll be right back with the segment we call Quote Me On Net Where I read you a quote Then I explain to you what the quote mean But other than that guys man Make sure you tap back in To the Invest Brand Pie Show Episode number 49 Yep. Welcome back, man, to the Invest Brand Pie Show. Thank y'all for tapping back in. Like I said, today's topic we're going to be talking about is the importance of having a timetable. But before I get into the topic for today, you know what time it is. That segment we call Quote Me On That, where I read you a quote and I explain to you what the quote mean. For uh, today's quote for all my new entrepreneurs out here, entrepreneurs out here chasing goals, dreams, betting on themselves, investing in yourself, believing in yourself, and just, man, tapping into your greatness and what have you. So today's quote is... Don't allow what is in front of you to hinder your mindset. So let me read that quote one more time. Just in case you didn't hear it, understand uh, what I said. Um, Today quote is don't allow what is in front of you to hinder your mindset. So basically what the quote means, it doesn't matter what is going on in front of you and what have you. Because sometimes in life we have to be selfish, especially selfish to the point of 
making sure whatever we want to accomplish to become successful in we have to continue to move forward we have to continue to push through adversity bumps in the road whatever it is we got to make sure that we continue to be pushing forward because at the end of the day if you allow whatever goes on around you to change your mindset to hinder you and what have you then you're not going to be able to achieve what you're looking for to achieve uh, as an entrepreneur because when it comes to you especially being a new entrepreneur building your business building your brand you got to always you got to make sure that you always stay tapped in to um, doing what it takes to become to be able to bring that brand or that business to fruition what have you because a lot of times um uh, uh, we have entrepreneurs that go through things adversity and what have you trials and tribulations and sometimes we allow that to um, be a setback um when it comes to to us and what have you or we allow things to go on to change our mindset um to a mindset where we're not working on what we need to work on and what have you um but other than that man that's what the quote mean do not allow anything that's in front of you to hinder your mindset continue to push forward don't become stagnant don't become hindered by anything that's going on around you what have you sometimes like i said in life you have to be selfish to get what you want um done um to achieve for yourself to achieve for your family and people around you to make their lives better and what have you but other than that man that is the quote for today um so thank y'all for tapping into the um um quote me on that segment but we're gonna get started on the topic for today uh like i said today we're gonna be talking about the importance of having a timetable timetable because it's very important to understand especially when coming into the field of entrepreneurship as a new entrepreneur you want to make sure you give yourself the best chance as possible to be able to become successful at achieving your goals to achieving building your business building your brand um, because it's going to take discipline it's going to take being consistent it's going to take being focused it's going to take um, just going through whatever it takes whatever you need to go through to be able to come out on the winning side of being successful as an entrepreneur and what have you right because it's very important to understand man a timetable is something that's going to help keep you disciplined a timetable is going to be there to help keep you organized to um basically show you um, give you some type of idea of what you need to get done on a daily basis and what have you. You know, you setting a timetable um, and it's basically holding you accountable. If things don't get done because you especially starting off as a new entrepreneur, most of the time is you're going to be you by yourself because a lot of us haven't built teams yet. We don't have the capital to bring on a team yet. So a lot of, of the groundwork you're going to have to do yourself as an entrepreneur. So it's about holding yourself accountable. So I have a list of things that will give you some sort of idea why it's important for you to have a timetable, especially as a new entrepreneur. And, and, and just being an entrepreneur, period, is important for you to have a timetable because this will give you some sort of idea or a visual idea of what needs to be done. Um, far as the task that you have set for yourself and what have you. So number one on my list is time management. And time management is one of the things that we all struggle with. Um, and because you have entrepreneurs who are still part time, you may be working a nine to five job, working a second shift, third shift, and it's hard to find time. But at the same time, this that's why it's important for you to have a timetable. It's important for you to be able to hone in and become great at working on your um, time management skills because especially when you're a part-time entrepreneur, this is what is going to be very hard. So this is going to be something that you definitely going to have to become great at is um, your time management skills because this is something that's going to help keep you organized, keep you on track on a daily basis, especially when you're setting your daily task, uh, what you need to be uh, need to be done so you can be so you can be able to achieve your goals and what have you. Keep everything prioritized. Um, what comes first? What's important? What's not that important? What have you? You want to have things put in place so you can know what to focus on and it help you and keep you on track. Because if you don't have something that's visually there, um, you're just going to be scrambling. You're going to be you. You might forget something that's important that you need to do. You might be a call. 
to someone that was very important that you may missed out on or what have you or it might have been a, a special little thing that you need to get for your business or far as an entrepreneur or something that's going to help you right so you want to make sure you keep everything ensured that um, nothing is becoming delayed especially when it comes to important things that you need to get done on a daily basis because we all have important things that need to be done every day especially when you're entrepreneur um, you're building a business right you're building a brand so you want to make sure that you take in full advantage of whatever time that you can allocate for yourself and what have you like I said time management um, is one of them things that we all may lack on having skills of and that's something for you to be able to learn how to be able to tap in and be able to become um, great at um, allocating time for yourself um, um, having time management skills and what have you so you want to be able to achieve your goals in in a timely manner uh, officially or what have you right so you don't want anything to become delayed you don't want to um, have anything that's going to stop you hold you up and what have you so it's important to have that timetable and, and so you can be able to allocate time for yourself and what have you. So that's number one on the list. Number two on my list is accountability because a timetable, what it's going to do is, like I said, you're going to have something that's visually there that's going that you're going to see your goals, your tasks um, that you need to do each and every day to achieve whatever goal that you set for yourself to be able to achieve for that week and what have you. You're going to have tasks, daily tasks that you're going to visually see. So if something don't get done or things are getting pushed back and what have you, you have something there to keep you accountable. Um, so you have to hold yourself accountable for things that's not getting done, because if you miss out on one thing, it, you're going to have to miss out on other things, because if you're constantly pushing things back. It's some things that you're definitely not going to get done, right? So everything is important, especially when it comes to building your, your, your business. You want to make sure the tasks that you have set for yourself are getting done and what have you. So that's why you want to be able to um, create a timetable, right? It's a thing that keeps you organized. It keeps you focused and what have you. And, and it's, it's going to definitely help you with anything that may become a distraction but you have something that's physically there, visually there, so you can see that you can hone in on, right? That you know what, you, okay, if I don't get this done, then it's going to affect how everything is for the next day and what have you. And I want to be able to get whatever I have set for for this day to get done. I want to be able to get it done and what have you. And this is also help you and teach you discipline. Right. You want to stay disciplined. It may be something that you really want to go do or it might be something like, hey, your buddies, your friends or your family member, what have you, or your significant other may ask, hey, uh, um, it's a new spot that I seen. Uh, you want to go check it out. This would be something that's going to help keep you disciplined because this timetable promotes discipline to the point where you're going to be you have to tell them like maybe next time because I'm trying to I'm focused on something on this task. I need to get it done. Um, I don't want to push it back to the next day because I'm trying to stay focused on what I need to get done. And you want to stay productive, right? Productive at all times. You want to um, make sure nothing becomes the distraction towards you. So timetable holds you accountable of things that's not getting done, right? It promotes discipline. you being focused. Um, you stand motivated, especially when you have things there, you see that you're knocking out uh, small wins, turn into big wins. And when you have small wins and they constantly add up, you're going to continue to be motivated to get more wins and what have you. So that's why it's very important for you to create some sense of accountability for an entrepreneur, because even though no one is there. To hold you accountable of things that's not going to be not going to get done, but in your mind is you holding yourself, you creating that uh, accountability, a uh, sense of accountability for yourself, and you holding yourself accountable for things that's not going to get done um, because um, you became distracted, distracted, uh, unfocused, and what have you. So definitely. Um, you definitely want to hold yourself accountable for things, the um, activities that was planned, um, and what have you, not getting done, um, what have you. But number three on my list is goal tracking. And we all 
like to achieve goals that we set for ourselves. And that's important. And our minds is, we need to get this done. I got a goal set for this week. I got a goal set for this month. Or you might have a small goal set for the day. I need to get this done today. It don't matter what goes on. I'm getting this done. And when you have something there as a timetable that's tracking your goals and you can physically see all the goals that you have knocked out, this is going to definitely help keep you motivated because we all like to achieve goals. And we all and the thing about it is when you make goals for yourself, that is obtainable, realistic goals. Goals, even though we set big goals for ourselves, you can take big goals and break them off in pieces and achieve different sections of that big goal that you set for yourself and achieve them. And next thing you know, you will have everything knocked out that you need to far as that big goal that you set for yourself. Right. We want to see our wins. And it's important for you to see your wins because this is going to help keep you motivated. This is going to show your growth where you started from to where you at now. And when you keep track of that, say, for instance, a year later and you look back at when you started, you, you can look at all the wins, all the goals that you have achieved. You're going to want to set more goals for you, yourself to be able to achieve because you want to stay not just motivated, but you want to execute on them goals. So when you see that I can't execute on whatever goal I set, I'm not just motivated to achieve it. I know I can execute on making sure that goal get accomplished and what have you. So that's very important. Um, milestones, you know, you want to be able to see your milestones, right? Because when you hit a milestone, you want to celebrate it because when you celebrate each and every milestone that you have accomplished for yourself, it's going to give you more confidence. It's going to make you want to win even more. Right. So that's why it's so important for you to be able to uh, attract your accomplishments, track your goals. You know what I'm saying? See your progression, your progression over time. And that's very important. You want to see yourself progress. And if you're not, you don't have anything that's visually there that you can look at to see that you have accomplished things, you're going to, you're going to steady, um, beat yourself up in, in my, you don't, you're going to beat yourself up wondering, are you good at what you're doing? Am I a good entrepreneur? Am I accomplishing anything? Because now, because you're not going to see the results right away, but if you have something that's physically there, that's visually there and you see like, okay, even though I haven't seen the results, but I am getting things done. I am accomplishing my goals. I am um, hitting milestones, even though the results, um, not the results, but yeah, the results hasn't physically came through yet. But I see what have I done. I see my progression from when I started as a new entrepreneur to now. I see all the milestones that I hit, all the goals that I accomplished. So it's very important, man, to keep a track of your goals because it's very important because just in case if you need to make adjustments to any of your goals, sometimes you might have to make adjustment because sometimes I'm telling you the truth. Sometimes we set unrealistic goals that we may have to make adjustments to because once you get into uh, becoming an entrepreneur, you realize like, oh, OK, maybe I bit off more than I can chew. Let me dial this goal back a little bit. Let me make some adjustments to this. Not saying that you can't do it. You just want to make a little bit of adjustments to it. Just like what I said, breaking your big goals down to small pieces where you can accomplish different parts of it and what have you. That's the little adjustments that you can make. Like, oh, OK, maybe I bit off more than I chew, but I still can accomplish this goal. Maybe I need to go a different direction. Maybe I need to make an adjustment to where uh, I and make it a whole lot easier for me to be able to accomplish this goal rather than trying to do it all at once and what have you. Right. So it's very important, man. You want to be able to see your goals. You want to see what goals you accomplish, milestones that you hit. Right. It's very important to see that, man. See your progression. You want to see where, where you started from, because when you can physically look at your growth, it makes you want to even work even harder to even grow to that next level and what have you. So it's very important to understand that, guys, man. Um, 
And as an entre- as an entrepreneur, man, just it's is especially when you're starting off and you're doing everything by yourself. Is it can be rough. That's why a timetable, having something there, having a timetable or your weekly planner, having things put in place where it can make it a lot more easier for you to stay focused and you know what's going on and what have you. So number four on my list is devise a weekly uh, weekly schedule. And it's very important because when you can create a schedule for yourself, and that's some some sort of a, a timetable, right? You create a schedule for yourself, you'll know what needs to be done at exact time. You can set, okay, I'm going to work on this task from this point to this point. So at this hour, I'm going to switch over and I'm going to work on something else, part of my business. You know, different little things that you have scheduled for yourself. And that's this is very important. You know, create a schedule for you, a weekly schedule for yourself, right? Now you are promoting and you keep it things in order, right? Now you know you're keeping yourself uh, in on, on track of what needs to be done. And you also holding yourself accountable at the same time. And you got something there that's a schedule that you can go off of that's going to help keep you disciplined, right? You're not going to um, get unfocused to the point where you're not working on something um, that's not productive and what have you. And that's the, that's the important about having a schedule, especially if you, like I said, if you're a part-time entrepreneur, it's very important for you to have a schedule. Create something for yourself because you want to be able to, especially you work in second shift, night shift, you want to be able to find some time where you can allocate allocate time for yourself throughout the week. So you might have to carve out a weekly schedule. So, um, I may have three hours to work on my business. So at this hour, I'm going to do this. Next hour, I'm going to do that. The last hour of that three hours that I have, I'm going to do this and what have you, right? So it's very important for you to have something there because working a nine, nine, nine to five, could be it's hard especially if you're a part-time entrepreneur right because now you have to dedicate your 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 time majority of your time to your job then when you come home if you have a family you got to promote not promote you have to delegate the rest of your time to your family so the little time you have between your job and your family right you have to find some time where you have for your business or what have you. And that's why it's important for you to have a schedule so you can have that scheduled time, right? That, that, that slot time. It don't matter what goes on, what happens at this time, I'm going to be working on this, right? That's very, that's what's very important, man. When you are an entrepreneur, you want to make sure that you have things put in place that's going to benefit you. You can make sure you want to have things put in place that's going to help you out and what have you. Because a lot of times, like I said, if you don't have uh, any type of structural plan for as an entrepreneur, um, far as what you're trying to do as an entrepreneur, you don't have any type of schedule, any type of planner, no timetable, no anything that's going to help you, then you're going to be all over the place. And the last thing you want to do is be all over the place as a uh, entrepreneur, especially a new one, because you try to grow. You don't want anything to hinder you. You want to become the best entrepreneur as possible. You want to learn as much at a uh, accelerated time, right? Because you are in a race with other entrepreneurs. So you want to make sure you're doing things in a timely manner. Um, you're not putting yourself on delay. Um, you're not getting sidetracked and what have you, because you might have something that's a home run, but because you are not focused and distracted by everything else going on around you, you cannot work on your business or you don't you don't know where to start with. You don't have no sense of direction. You don't have because you don't have anything to look at. You don't know um, um, what you need. You don't know what to, what you need to work on on a daily basis. Right. You don't have anything that you can look at that's going to continue to keep you motivated. You don't you see the progress because you're not tracking the progress of uh, what you are doing as an entrepreneur and what have you. So it's very important. Um, so the last thing on my list, number five, 
um, it goes, this is why it's important for you to have a weekly schedule because it is establishing a routine. And and this is something that's very important. Once you establish a routine for yourself, it makes it a whole lot easier because now you're not um, second guessing anything. You're not negotiating with yourself. Should I do this today? Nah, I, I can I can do that tomorrow. I have more time tomorrow to do this. So today I'm just going to relax. I'm not going to do anything. Um, I can take care of tomorrow, what have you, or you just throwing, okay, I might have a little time to work on my business, so I'm going to throw it in there. Um, So you don't want to be one of the uh, people because that leads uh, one of the entrepreneurs that does that because that's going to lead into what? Procrastinating, right? So you want to have a start a routine, just start doing it. When you start doing things, it's going to become, it's going to automatically form into a routine. You're going to wake up. You're going to get yourself together. You're going to get your timetable. You're going to get your planner, whatever you're using. You're going to look at it. You're going to see what's what you need to do for that day. You're going to get it started. So because at the end of the day, we all have our own routines, especially our morning routines. So what we do, how we get started the day, um, what gets us, gets us going and what have you. So it's very important for you to have a routine going, right? Because you don't want to do that just like a person, right, going to the gym, right? If if you just gonna wake up and be like, you know, today, ah, uh, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the gym today. Then all of a sudden you are gonna be like, nah, I, I can go tomorrow. You know, I I can rest today, or I I'm a, I need to do this. I I can I'm I'm I can do that. I can do that tomorrow. I can go to the gym, right? And you because you've been telling yourself like, hey, you know, I want to go work out. I'm trying to get back in shape, trying to get fit, and what have you. But if you don't physically have something there, you don't put your, your your workout clothes right there in front of your face to the point now when you get up, first thing you see is your workout clothes. So now on a subconscious level, bam, you like, okay, my workout clothes is ready. Let me go ahead and get going. Once I get myself together, put my workout clothes on, I'm going to go work out, right? So when you make that a habit every night, um, how many times you want to work out in a week? You put your workout clothes out. So once first thing you wake up in the morning, that's what you see. It becomes a routine. Now everything is a routine. Now that's how you're supposed to be as an entrepreneur. First thing when you wake up, you see your planner. You see your timetable. You know, if you want to set alarm on your phone, it pops up and say, "Look at my timetable. Look at your timetable. Look at your planner. Look at your schedule." Or you have your set schedule set on your phone. I know some phones have the technology to where, yeah, you can set a schedule up. You, they got the weekly, they got the monthly calendar, yearly calendar on your phone. So you can set up each day and put alarms to them, right? So if you got to do that to give you a reminder, when you wake up, bam, this is what I need to do. Your alarm go off of your one, your, your weekly schedule of that day of uh, your task that you have set for yourself, right? So now it's, that's a reminder. It comes a, it comes into a routine. And that's what you want to do. You want to form routines for yourself, right? Um, you want to make sure you're doing things that's going to align with you becoming a uh, best entrepreneur as possible. See, a lot of times we get ourselves into trouble um, where we don't have anything put in place to that's going to bring out our strengths, right? That's not going to tap into um, what we need to get done, right? So that's why it's important for you to position yourself. Position yourself so you can be able to win as an entrepreneur. It's very important to do that. So those are a couple of things um, that reason why uh, it's important for you to be able to create uh you should why you should create a timetable for yourself those are a couple of things right um it's more that you can probably add to the list and what have you but there's just five things that I want to throw out there for uh new entrepreneurs why it's important for you to have a timetable because it's going to help you in the long run. Um, it's going to help you grow as an entrepreneur and what have you. So that's very important, guys. Um, that's is the episode uh, for today. The importance of having a timetable. Episode forty nine. Like I said, uh, next week 
Um, it's episode number 50 That's going to be the last episode for season 2 We're going to be going into season 3 With even more better content More better episodes And what have you um, Definitely like I said before Make your way over to investbrand.com Because we coming It's, we, we, it's, it's coming soon it's getting, We're getting closer there To the um, site The main site to be relaunched And what have you The brand to be relaunched You see it right now You're getting a sneak preview if you're watching right now, you're seeing the sneak preview of the hats. These are a couple of hats that's going to be available to buy on uh, when we relaunch again. We got the prolific results hat. We got the greatness hat. We got asset hat. We got the uh, official logo invest brand hat. So, man, this is going to be great. So that's why I make your way over to investbrand.com right now. Um, sign up on our emailing list Very important to do that guys Sign up on our emailing list So you can be notified When a new site is relaunched And what have you We also got the investor of self shirts coming um, Definitely once you sign up On our emailing list And what have you um, You will get 10 to 15 10 to 15% off I haven't decided yet What percent I'm going to get off of the shirt, but once you sign up and I make that decision, you you would I will be sending out additional email with that um, discount code that you can use once the investor self shirts are launched and uh, what have you. So I'm in a, in process of working on them right now. So investors self shirt because we all are investors of ourselves. When you invest time in yourself um, and you pour into the right ingredients to yourself. So you can be able to become the best um, possible entrepreneur as possible or you um, just become successful in your own way, what have you. You become an investor of yourself and what have you. But other than that, guys, man, thank y'all for tapping into um, the Invest Brand Pie Show. So make sure, man, y'all join in um, uh, next Monday, what have you. Subscribe to our show. Definitely subscribe. Subscribe, guys, and follow us on our um, Spotify channel. Um, in, uh, invest brand pie show and what have you. But other than that, guys, man, I want y'all to continue, continue to be great, man. Tap into your greatness. Yup.